Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to write repeated multiplication using exponents. Take a look at these ants building their home. The number of ants in this colony doubles in size every month. If there are 30 ants to begin with, how many will, will there be after just one year? Before we begin to find the population of ants after one year, we will first take a look at some basic multiplication problems. For example, what is the product of 4 times 4? The product is 16. How about 4 times 4 times 4? 64. Good. Okay, what about 4 times 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 4? Before you answer that, did you know that we can shorten this math problem? We can. We can write it in exponential notation. We write 4 as our base, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 as our exponent. This is also commonly called the power or the index. We read this as 4 to the 8th power. Wow, that was so much easier. We can plug this into a calculator using a caret symbol. 4 raised to the 8th power is equal to 65,536. Great! Now you give it a try. Write each multiplication problem using exponential notation. We can write 5 times 5 times 5 as 5 to the 3rd power. 12 times 12 times 12 times 12 times 12 times 12 as 12 to the 6th power. And we can write negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 as negative 1 to the 4th power. You'll notice that I've put parentheses around the negative 1. This is important to understand the value of the number. We want to be sure the negative sign is also included in repeated multiplication. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, times negative 1 is negative 1, times the fourth negative 1 is positive 1. If we hadn't included the parentheses, according to the order of operations, we calculate 1 to the fourth power, or multiply 1 four times, and then bring over the negative sign. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is positive 1. Bringing down the negative sign makes this negative 1. However, you can see that this is incorrect. So, remember to use parentheses when raising a negative number to a power. So let's go back to our ant problem. There are 30 ants, and their population is doubling each month. How many ants are there after one year? Since the population is doubling every month, we will multiply our original population of 30 by 2 to get 60 ants. This is the population after one month. To determine the population after 12 months, we will have to multiply 30 by 2 12 times. However, we learned a shorter method for calculating this. Since there are 12 twos, we can use exponential notation to write this as 30 times 2 to the 12th power. 2 to the 12th power is 4,096 times 30 is 122,880. There will be 122,880 ants at the end of the year. Good job!